So this is Urban Decay's Naked Skin. I use this concealer because it's extremely opaque, it's high coverage if you have really dark circles, and most of all, I find it does not crease. So I'm going to place the concealer in a inverted triangle or kind of a fan shape. I like to bring it kind of high onto my cheekbone. And then you can use your fingers or brush to distribute it. I'm using this Real Techniques 102 brush. It's a triangle shape, so that's super cool. It's also great for getting right up under the lash line. Everyone has some redness or purpleness on that lash line, so you wanna make sure you get right up under there. So this is kind of just distributing the concealer. I'm not trying to blend it out because you'll see brush strokes and that is not what I want. I'm bringing this right up alongside my nose though. This is gonna make your nose look smaller. Bringing it on the inside of my eye. And now I'm gonna grab my beauty blender and blend it out right away. So this is what's going to really push it into the skin, make it not look like product is sitting on top of your skin. Looks very seamless. Now, the key to not having your concealer crease is to set it immediately. So before it has a chance to crease, you're going to set it into place. If you wait and you set the rest of your face along with your concealer at the end of your makeup and it's already creased, you're gonna set a crease. We're gonna set this right away. I'm gonna set it before I even do the other eye. So I am using Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Looks like this. It's in quite a generous size jar. So this is their loose setting powder. It has a tiny bit of a pale yellow color to it, almost like a vanilla shade. And I do like to use a, even though it says translucent, I like to set with a powder that has a tad bit of color to further brighten up. So I dipped my beauty blender right in here, got the little tip of it coated, and I just pressed that powder in that's going to also help it not to crease instead of just like dusting it on with a brush. You are making sure that powder gets in every little crevice. <laughs> so this eye is hopefully looking brighter to you than this eye. Going to move on to the other one, but we have concealed and set and there is little chance that's going to crease now. So I hope that that helps. I hope that puts it all under perspective for you.